hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you all things that are trending in 2022 that i may or may not be wearing if you're new to my channel welcome my name is carla and on this channel i share videos on fashion beauty and lifestyle if you enjoy these kinds of videos then please subscribe down below so i'm editing this video and i realized that my highlight is highlight um so bear with me i'm fully aware um yes just bear with me so like i just mentioned i am going to be sharing with you all things that i may or may not be wearing that's trending for 2022 the first thing that's going to be trending in 2022 that i'm kind of like yes Thank you very much. I will be trying this and I already have um, one of these is platforms. Um, you all know I've said this before. I am very much into platforms. Um, is it like a classier th kind of shoe? No but if you want to have fun and you can class up you can if you want to and you can find a way to you can class up flat platforms but it's not something i plan on doing i don't plan on wearing this like classy i plan on wearing this more casually um something fun the shoes that i i mentioned to you all before were the versace platforms that i was really trying to get my hands on but then I ran into these dupes. So these dupes I actually found on a black owned boutique. You all know I am still and I will continuously um, work on adding more black owned brands, more black owned boutique, black owned businesses, all that stuff into my daily lifestyle. So I was like, you know what? I would rather put the money into a black owned boutique as, a, as opposed to just waiting for Versace um so this is the Vogueish chic boutique um I found them on Instagram and these are the shoes that I ended up finding on there like look at this color look at these I cannot wait to style these up I I've actually worn them once already um you can't really tell but i've worn them once already i styled them with all black but i am here for the platforms like i am so here for the platforms valentino has some platforms um but amina muadi has these platforms that are just like i think as far as like luxury designers go i'm more looking at Amina Muadi's like she just she delivers Amina Muadi delivers like she can create a heel someone can create a dupe and she'll create something different like I love that about her she's she just keeps going she's like okay you want that style have at it I will come up with something different and she has and this platform heel that she has created it's like the just the the shape it's the shape she is giving so i'm eyeing those platforms um i probably will be getting my hands on those we shall see we shall see but i am here for and you will see me with the platforms the platforms that are trending in 2022 all right the next big trend for 2022 spring summer is color um, I've said this throughout my channel. I love color. There was actually a period of time where I was trying to add more neutrals because for some reason I just felt like I was wearing a lot of color and like I, I'm just like why why did I feel that way? I don't know. I, I struggled. I struggled to keep it very neutral. I just automatically gravitate to color and I I just love I, I love color let's just put that out there and I feel like color just looks so great on brown skin like it just looks beautiful we look amazing in color um so just know that that's a trend that's not really a trend for me it's something I've always kind of done um so you will see me 
in color you'll see me in it more am i still gonna try to work with the neutrals i am i am because i do love neutral looks i just and i feel like if i like something and i like how i look in something even though i'm struggling a little bit with neutrals which is so weird most people struggle with color i struggle more with neutrals um i just feel like I'm gonna continue trying so you may see neutrals but just know that you're going to see me in color because it's something I gravitate to I remember there was a video that is cringy right now I, I if I looked back at it right now oh, I cannot even believe I am going to link it right here but I am going to link it because sometimes we just have to look back on where we where how far we've come right how far we've come um, there was this video I made on like it was a color wheel experiment and I had so much fun with that video because I just love color I was like oh how do I want to do this of course now looking back I would have changed a few things here and there like certain shoes that I paired and all that um, but for the most part I had fun with the colors that I was mixing if you're struggling with color just try out the color wheel. Um, that experiment was just so much fun. I wish I had done more and more of it. I think in that video I had mentioned that I was going to try it again and I should have. I should have because I had fun doing it. I love playing with colors. Like I just love it. Um, and yeah, you will see me in colors. You will, you will for sure. That is not going anywhere for me. It's, it's really not. Um, but like I said, I'm still going to try the neutral thing. I guess this is neutral right I'm going to try the neutral I am determined because I like it but I love color more and that's it on color next mini skirts so you chances are you will not see me in this trend um my body shape is not for mini skirts like I have thighs I have a butt I am curvy and not to say that curvy women cannot wear mini skirts that is not what I'm saying but for me mini skirts are not for me skirts in general yes yes you will see me in a skirt but as far as mini skirts go it's not for me it's not for me um, I just I, mm -mm. it's not for me um, and let's just leave it at that um, I see them and I think they're cute on people they look very nice but for me I just know I know it would not be it would not be good it would not be good um so the mini skirt trend for 2022 um unfortunately is not for me and yes okay the next trend that you may or may not see me wearing are cutouts so let's talk about cutouts a little bit I think it's Kai collective Kai Collective has delivered this dress um, that has cutouts and I'm here for it. I am here for that dress in particular, for that style in particular. I did see it last year. I forgot where it was that I saw it, but I saw this dress last year and I was like, okay, I, I like it. I like it. Um, for me, it would probably be a little risque because it has that little cutout on the side by the thigh and I'm like, okay. Will I be able to contain my legs without it coming out? I don't know. Um, but I love the color. I love the cutouts. So I'm not going to say I'm not going to wear it. Um, I don't know if I'm going. I don't know. If, I'm not going to say I'm not going to wear it. I don't know if I am going to wear it. But I do like it. Um, I do see other tops like you know you sometimes get those shirts with like the cutout right here that's cute that is cute um, I can see myself wearing something like that like there are certain cutouts that you may see me in so I'm not kind of going away from that trend I'm not against that trend in any way shape form um, I do like it I just have to play it very careful I think anything that shows the shoulder or your clavicle is very like sexy it's almost like a um, a reserved sexy like you're showing a little bit of skin and what more skin do you want to show but a little bit of clavicle so I do I do like that um I don't know if to consider this like a cutout or like a share or where to place this but 
it's nice it's a bit risque for me, um, but it is very, very nice. Like it's just the the shape of the cutouts, but then it's sheer. Um, so it gives a little bit of curves, but it also looks, it looks good on, on some people that I've seen. I, I'm like, oh, that looks nice, but on me, I don't know. I don't know if I would be able to wear something like that. Like back in the day me, yes any day but now me i don't know if i would i don't know how comfortable i would feel and like i mentioned it's all in how comfortable you feel and i don't know how comfortable i would feel in that but it does look nice so if you're into like that nice cutout silhouette kind of shape uh, maybe a brand that you would want to look into because it does look nice so this is one of those trends that i'm just stuck in the middle I'm stuck in the middle I would have to like try it out a little bit and just work with it a little bit to see if I would wear it out and about lastly um the last fashion trend that you may or may not see me wearing in 2022 because I've said this before 90s is back the 90s is back and it's here um and one thing that's back are the low rise denim i said this before so you probably already know where i'm going with this but it's a no for me um the reason why it's a no for me again it's not that i don't like it i love the look of it but for me um i'm curvy i'm curvy and those jeans that type of denim that style does nothing for me like it does nothing for me i think actually putting those denim with the platforms whether it's these platforms you know the brat's doll style platforms or just any platforms would actually look very very nice but as far as the low riseness of it i cannot um i cannot um just for my body type and that's pretty much the only reason why if I can just do a more high-waisted, um, relaxed fit denim um, because that's the kind of low-rise denim I'm, I'm talking about that's coming back for the 90s, that more relaxed fit, um, a little bit of flare out denim. Um, that's what I'm talking about when I say it's trending for 2022. I would do that but more of a high-waisted um, fit because as you all know for the most part I'm usually like a size medium size large as far as denim goes I'm like a size 10 a size 12 and for me to wear something low rise I would have to wear like a size 17 or like a size 15 um, just so that it can give me a little bit of something on the waist and honestly I'm just I just don't even want anything to do with the low rise so that's why you will not see me wearing um, low rise you will not chances are you will not see me in any low-rise denim I just don't think so I'm here thinking okay maybe if they made like one that fits me well like no it's just that I'm curvy and and that style of jean just does not fit me it looks nice and others like I mentioned but for me ladies you will not see me you will not see me in in that denim um at all but that's what's trending um or what i think most likely will be trending for 2022 and that is just my thoughts um on these trends will i be wearing them will not i don't for the most part yes there are some things like i mentioned that i will be wearing and of course things that i will not be wearing um and we'll just see what else 2020 to brings because you know it's early 2022 these like i said these are just things i i predict pretty much that will be trending or that i've kind of seen um a lot on instagram um so you know instagram influencers are the ones that usually um get things going and get things trending so chances are these things will be trending and those are my thoughts on them if you have any questions let me know in the comment se section down below if you have like let me know how you feel about these trends any trends that i missed let me know down below um that you've tried out if you know where to find plat any more platforms i don't know if i'll be getting no 
chances are I will not be getting any more of this style but like I said the Amina the Amina Muadi's chances are yes I will be getting those um but yes remember to be kind to yourself and be kind to others love yourself and love others as well also follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Carla.Simon19 see you in the next video